Rahim Sterling, 35 million pounds link transfer agreement is stored Beverly Fair's Chelsea signing clubs. Chelsea are reportedly confident of closing a deal to sign Raheem Sterling from Manchester City this summer. According to Di Marzio, the eventual transfer fee could be around £35 million pounds to secure the 27-year-old. Sterling has consistently been named as a player of interest for Thomas Tuchel this summer, as new co-owner Todd Bowley hopes to fund an important rebuild for the German squad ahead of the 2022 and 2023 season. The England winger has only one year left to earn his deal at Manchester City and rumours of his exit have been persistent over the past few windows. Chelsea appear the most likely should Sterling opt to remain in England, with Real Madrid potentially offering an alternative route out of the Etihad. Sterling has scored 10 plus goals in the Premier League across the past five seasons, and his 2021 and 2022 tally of 13 was more than any Chelsea player. The forward has 131 goals for City in 339 appearances, with 19 in 77 appearances for the national team. Nothing important goals as last summer's European Championships to help England reach the final. With Sterling's arrival would do the rest of Chelsea's current attackers is unknown with Romelu Lukaku, Hakim Ziak, Christian Pulisic and Timo Werner all linked to it. Tuchel spoke at the back end of last season of the needed attacking improvement, looking at where the Blues had fallen short in a frustrating area. If we stick to the group, when, then we'll try to solve it with these players. Is it necessary to bring Will to try to solve with these players? Is it necessary to bring more offensive players around the box to create more distractions, to create more space for each other? We will ask that question. Can we do better in the structure? Can we push the players more? Did we rotate too much? Let's see. There are a lot of options. The numbers we produce from our offensive players don't allow us to perform and we need improved performance if we want to be nearer to the top two teams. I am not pointing fingers, I am not blaming anybody, but we need over performance from everybody. It's not over performance if we have only single figures in scoring and assisting.